Hey, what's up everybody? It's Steph. Um, I'm here in my home office preparing to go out on my official first shoot for my next film project titled The Embassy. And as I was getting dressed, I was thinking to myself, it would be good for me, uh, especially because I'm not working with a crew, to have moments before I go out on shoots to sort of talk about my objectives, give you kind of a behind the scenes perspective because I'm not going to have somebody available to have another camera who's capturing me capture the project. So this is uh, the best that you're going to get, at least in the, uh, in the interim stages or the, the beginning stages. But anyway, so um, after our Kickstarter pro uh, a fundraising project didn't end successfully, it wasn't the end of the world for me, even though I was disappointed. I've got all these contacts, all these friends, and I'm trying to figure out what about the embassy or what about me um, doesn't necessarily draw a large response from people in terms of support. But the fact that I didn't get the money I was asking for isn't going to stop this project. And when I sat down yesterday um, to finish looking at some of the data that I collected about my family history and look at locations and try to plot out all this information that has to go into making this documentary, I got a little overwhelmed until I sat back and said to myself, that you cannot do it all at once. It is impossible. I would like to tell three stories um, in the first part of the shooting of this film project and then look for some more funding to do uh, an expanded conversation. But the reality is you can only shoot one story at a time and that's where I have to start. And while I'm here in DC for the next month or so, give or take some other travel, um, it makes sense to start with the places that are closest to D.C., which means that I'm starting with the story of J.R.L. Diggs, who is my great-grandmother's brother. Um, I don't want to get too much into his story now because you're going to see so much of that by the time I finish uh, shooting this footage. But you should know that he was a minister, you know, uh, at the turn of the 20th century, a lot of us were. But he was a minister that was very heavily involved with a black consciousness movement, which was not at all popular or chic. Uh, in the early 1900s. He uh, was the first black man to earn a PhD in sociology, which is really, really significant. Because of that intellectual pursuit, it put him in close contact with a lot of other intellectual minds of the day, including W.B. Du Bois. And so that conversation uh, is something that we're going to explore in detail as a part of this film, because it's not about trying to make my uncle as famous or as legendary as WB. It's more about showing that our associations, our connectedness can yield some amazing results, even if you're not the one that's in the headlines. And that's sort of the story of my life. And I guess we'll fold some of me into this process as well. But that's where we are today, July 9th. Yes, July 9th or July 10th. I can't remember. July 9th, I think it is, 2011, the beginning of the filming for The Embassy. If you want to follow what's going on with this process in general, please uh, set a bookmark for our Tumblr. It's www.the-embassy.info. That's how you get directly to the blog, and I'll be typing other things and posting photos and, and uh, clips and all kinds of other stuff to the blog as I go along because I realize since I don't have a crew, that the use of all this technology is really, really, really important for uh, capturing this process. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you will stay tuned to everything that's going on as my <laughs> screen goes dark. Anyway, so that's where we are. And uh, I'll be back with more information at the next one. Peace.